Hello, I just wanted to show you what your first experiences should look like when going to Google Classroom for the first time. I'm using my sample Chrome test student to do so. You're going to come to this first screen. It's going to ask you to agree to the terms. Simply click continue. Pick your role as a student. And as you can see, I've actually been added to a class. Now you're not automatically added. You're going to have to click it to join. There's two ways that you can join. You can just log into Google Classroom as I have done and then click join. Or once you're in, I'm going to show you how you can join a class. So you're going to see a couple things it's going to provide me for the first time. If I wanted to, I could immediately share something with the class and I'm just going to click got it. So I'm going to type, hey everyone, it's Chrome Test Student and post that. Now keep in mind that anything that's posted on the stream, which is the main landing page for Google Classroom, can be seen by all students as well as the teacher in the class. So make sure that it's something that really has some academic merit and something that would be appropriate for the classroom setting. So the stream, think of that as basically the landing page for all of Google Classroom. It's very similar to what you would find on social media such as Facebook in regards to postings. From here, you can see the posting that I made as Chrome Test Student. Also, if I scroll down, there are things that have been posted by the teacher. In that case, I have myself set up as a teacher. There's a simple quiz here. Again, you can add or create files to your classwork. It mentions that anything you add or create can be seen by the teacher, just letting students know. Click Next. You can also mark assignments as done. And again, if you don't need to add or create files, you can mark your work as done. So I'm going to click Got It. So I'm just going to click on this quiz. Very simple quiz, two times two, four, and I click Submit. Now I'm going to open the assignment. You can see here there's an option for private comments. That's where you can communicate with your teacher. Again, this is if you have a question that would only be for your teacher. So I'm going to click Got It on there. I'm going to send my teacher the comment. I have completed the quiz and send it. From there, you see two options. It already shows that I've turned it in. So I can leave here or I can go to unsubmit if for some reason I wanted to do it. Now, sometimes it may not let you unsubmit things such as quizzes, so keep that in mind as well. Again, on the stream, there are several options and many things will be posted on there, including assignments and announcements. So as you can see here, the teacher has posted a comment asking how everyone is doing at home. I filled in the comment ready to go back to see my friends. Keep in mind that anything that's posted on the stream will be viewable by everyone in the classroom. I also want to go back up to classwork. This is a spot where you can quickly go to everything that your teacher has assigned to you. As you see, there's the simple quiz that we've taken. And here's another one called order of operations. Create an expression and solve using the PIM DOS mnemonic. So I can click on that. This is just to inform you that the editors can see your view history. I'm going to click I understand. So for this example, I'm not going to solve the expression, but I've written it down. So if I was done with this assignment, all I would need to do is click up here on the top right and choose turn in. Again, it's going to confirm if I want to turn in my work. This is just a reminder to turn in your work. I'm going to click here. It's going to say this attachment will be submitted and I will turn it in. And again, it's going to show that that assignment has been turned in as well. So I'm going to click on people. As you can see here, it will list all teachers. You may have a classroom that has more than one teacher and they would both be listed here. Also, if there were more students than just me, we would see them listed as well. As we had mentioned before, simply by visiting student links or going to classroom.google.com would take you to the main landing page. If you've been given a join code via email, just go over here to the plus button and click on join class and you're going to put that class code in there and then click join. I'm going to click on the three horizontal dots here. It brings up several options. One is the to-do list. This lets you know things that you need to complete that have been assigned to you. Fortunately, I've completed both assignments. I have nothing left to do. If there was, it would be listed right here. And again, as you can see, this would be in all classes assigned to me. Going back to the three horizontal lines, you see calendar. If a teacher has assigned a due date, you would find those due dates listed here on the calendar. 
Again, I'm going back to these three horizontal dots. You'll see enrolled, it shows, of course, everything I have to do, and then it's going to show all classes to which I'm currently enrolled. Finally, I'm going to go to settings. As you can see, it's mostly about notifications. You'll receive an email notification every time you've received an assignment. It will be up to the parent and the student to decide how often you want to receive notifications and under which circumstances you would like to receive them. Simply click on a button and it will turn off all email notifications. You may want to receive email notifications, but you don't want email notifications regarding every comment on a post. Turn that off and it will simply no longer send you notifications when someone comments on your post. Every student is different. Some may want to receive a notification for all of these different settings and some may not. It's all about what helps make you a better student and what helps you to stay on top of things. And I'm going to the three horizontal lines, clicking on classes, and that takes us back to our home screen. If you want to go straight to your work, click here to open the work for your test class. You can also open this folder for the test class in Google Drive. Google Classroom is quite user friendly and fairly intuitive. However, if you find yourself needing further help, please go to midlandisd.net slash Google Classroom. There will be information on there to help you. And if you are still stuck, please feel free to email me at michael.lloyd at midlandisd.net with any questions.